first thing I see is I see that this thing has some water damage. Uh, you can see on the screws right here, there's some rust. And you can also see on the inside, there's some rust also. And I can also see down here on this circuit board that's, that connects to the lens. I can see that it looks like that it's some corrosion right here also. So that might be a good reason why uh, this thing is not sinking. Nor that the LED lights are not working is because water damage. So it looks like water damage got in and possibly dripped on each of the uh, D indicator lights. The next thing to do is I'm going to take this apart, take this circuit board off, and I'm going to clean the corrosion. I'm going to clean it. Yep, I'm going to clean this circuit board where I can see there's visible water damage. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this off to the side. So as you can see, there's three Phillips screws right here and right here. That bad boy is rusted. Yeah, that bad boy is definitely rusted, as you can see. screw. I don't see any water damage on this third and final screw. All right, so there we go. Just slide that out of the way. You can see how it's orientated. You can see that there's a ribbon cable right there that's holding it on. bad boys. It's crazy because you wouldn't think the water could get in there, but it definitely does. Yeah. It's insane. So yeah, as you can see, some good little bit of corrosion right there. I a contact cleaner. As you can see, it's coming off on the squab, cotton swab. Do another pass. the brush this time. Just lightly go over it. Just go light with the toothbrush. Q-tip. We're almost done. Oh, 
in this video I showed you how to clean the circuit board when it has water damage and corrosion. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much.